Hey there, nature enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, where we uncover the secrets of the nature. Today, we have an intriguing question that, are there any crops that can be irrigated by salt water? Well, get ready to be amazed because we have the answer for you. So, let's get started. Salt water irrigation is generally harmful to most plants due to the high salinity levels, which can be detrimental to their growth and survival. However, there are a few crops that have shown tolerance to salt water and can be successfully irrigated with it. In this video, we will explore these crops and their potential for saline agriculture. Irrigating crops with salt water has long been a challenge due to the adverse effects of high salinity on plant growth. Most plants would not survive under such conditions. However, recent research has identified a few crops that show promising tolerance to salt water and can be cultivated in saline environments. Let's explore these crops and their potential for salt water irrigation. The Pink Flowering Seashore Mallow, a potential cash crop. One crop that has garnered attention in the realm of saline agriculture is the pink flowering seashore mallow, scientifically known as Costaletskia virginica. This plant grows wild in the coastal marshlands of the southeastern United States. Researchers from the University of Delaware have dubbed it the saltwater soybean, due to its seeds oil composition and quantity, similar to soybean plants. Studies in China have successfully introduced the pink flowering seashore mallow to the heavy saline soils of Jiangsu province. It not only has the potential to improve the soil but also serves as a basis for the development of ecologically sound saline agriculture. This crop shows promise as a potential cash crop, offering economic benefits while thriving in saltwater irrigation. Number 2. The Dwarf Glasswort, Thriving in Harsh Desert Environments Another crop that exhibits saltwater irrigation potential is the dwarf glasswort, scientifically known as Silicornia bigelovi. This plant has been evaluated for growth with seawater irrigation in harsh desert environments, with remarkable success. In fact, it produces at least as much nutritious edible oil as conventional soybean and sunflower crops. The dwarf glasswort holds great promise as a viable option for saline agriculture. Number 3. The Salt Farm Texel. Testing Crop Salt Tolerance Under Controlled Conditions. In the pursuit of finding more crops that can withstand saltwater irrigation, the Salt Farm Texel in the Netherlands has become a center for research on saline agriculture. The farm provides a controlled environment where different crops are tested under varying salinity levels to understand their response and tolerance to seawater. This research contributes to the development of new crop varieties that can thrive in saline conditions and potentially revolutionize agriculture in coastal and arid regions. Number 4. Understanding Soil Salinity and Its Impact on Plant Growth Soil salinity refers to the presence of soluble salts in the soil, primarily sodium chloride, table salt, which can be harmful to plant growth. When plants absorb water from the soil, they also take in salts. If the salt concentration in the soil is too high, it can disrupt the osmotic balance within the plant, leading to water stress and reduced growth. High salinity can also result in the accumulation of toxic ions in the plant, further hindering its development. Number 5. Salts in Irrigation Water and Their Effects on Crops The quality of irrigation water is a critical factor in determining crop health and productivity. If the water used for irrigation contains high levels of salts, it can negatively affect crop growth. Salts can accumulate in the soil over time, raising its salinity and making it unsuitable for most plants. The severity of the impact depends on the type of salts present and their concentration in the water. Number 6. Salinity Effect and Toxicity Effect on Plant Growth 
the salinity effect on plant growth refers to the overall reduction in growth caused by the presence of salts in the soil. As the soil salinity increases, the ability of plants to absorb water diminishes, leading to reduced cell expansion and ultimately stunted growth. High salinity can also interfere with nutrient uptake, as essential minerals become less available to the plant. Number 7. Salinity Effect and Toxicity Effect on Plant Growth Salinity effect refers to the impact of high salt levels in the soil or irrigation water on plant growth. When plants are exposed to excessive salt concentrations, it disrupts their water uptake and affects their ability to maintain a proper water balance. This osmotic stress caused by salinity can lead to reduced plant growth, wilting, and decreased crop yield. Additionally, high salinity can interfere with nutrient uptake and cause nutrient imbalances, further hampering plant growth. Number 8. Toxicity effect, on the other hand, specifically refers to the harmful impact of certain salts at high concentrations. For example, sodium toxicity occurs when the concentration of sodium ions in the soil or irrigation water is too high. Sodium ions can displace other essential nutrients like potassium and calcium, leading to nutrient imbalances and physiological disorders in plants. Similarly, chloride toxicity occurs when chloride ions accumulate in plant tissues, hindering metabolic processes and causing chlorosis, yellowing, and necrosis, tissue death, in leaves. These toxic effects of salts can significantly impair plant growth and productivity. Number 9. Sodium toxicity and its impact on plants. Sodium toxicity refers to the harmful effects of high sodium levels on plants. When the concentration of sodium ions in the soil or irrigation water exceeds the plant's tolerance level, it can lead to various detrimental effects. Sodium ions can disrupt the uptake. Number 10. Strategies for successful saltwater irrigation involve a combination of technical and management approaches to ensure efficient water use and minimize negative environmental impacts. The research identifies four main categories of strategies for sustainable irrigation system management. Number 1. Engineering Strategies. These strategies focus on the technical aspects of irrigation systems, such as improving infrastructure efficiency and addressing structural issues that may lead to water losses. Number 2. Operational Strategies. These strategies involve optimizing the operation of irrigation systems, including the scheduling of irrigation events and the management of water resources to ensure effective water use. Number 3. Management Strategies. These strategies emphasize the importance of efficient and effective management practices in irrigation systems. This includes establishing clear roles and responsibilities, promoting stakeholder participation, and implementing sound governance structures. Number 4. Regulatory Strategies. These strategies involve the development and enforcement of regulations and policies to govern irrigation practices. This may include water allocation mechanisms, water pricing mechanisms, and environmental regulations to protect water resources and maintain ecological integrity. Implementing these strategies can contribute to the overall sustainability of saltwater irrigation systems, ensuring efficient water use, minimizing negative environmental impacts, and supporting the long-term viability of agricultural practices in salt-prone regions. Remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a fascinating science update. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more amazing discoveries. Signing off from the science questions, this is Arif on SCILENSE English. Thanks for watching.